everybody, it's Michael here with another video on 3D printing using your RepRap printer. Today we're going to talk about a feature that uh, I've gotten quite a few questions about. I've made quite a bit of use of this uh, in my own printing and in a lot of my videos. And it's uh, something that a lot of people, like I say, have asked me about. And today I'm going to explain how to get this set up. What I'm talking about, of course, is enabling your EEPROM settings. And what this allows you to do is... Uh, once you've got your printer configured the way you want and all your speeds and everything are just so, you can go ahead and store those to what's essentially a non-volatile part of the ramps board's uh, memory. And that's going to be the default when you boot up and uh, in any changes you make, you can save to that. And that will, uh, again, survive a reboot and even a reflash of the Marlin firmware. And I'm going to show you how to enable those settings, which are normally disabled by default, and then show you how to, how to make best use of those. And to give you an example of what, uh, what most Marlin installations look like when they first show up, uh, today I'm using my Maker Farm 8-inch Prusa i3V, and I have uh, loaded on it the stock firmware that comes from Maker Farm that does, in fact, have the EEPROM functions disabled. Now, how can you tell they're disabled? Well, there's some stuff missing from the menu. So I'm going to just go ahead and go up to my LCD menu. I'm going to go into the menus. I'm going to go down to Control. And what I'm going to find here is that really I only have Besides going up to the previous menu, I have three options. One is temperature, one is motion, and one is restore failsafe. Now, none of those are save settings or load settings. The restore failsafe is actually a load settings. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's not really what I'm after right now. So how do we enable that? What's it going to do for you? We'll get to that right now. Okay, now I've just opened up a copy of my configuration.h file in uh, in a text editor, and this is exactly a this is an untouched version of the file as I downloaded it from Maker Farm. Now, if you have a printer other than a Maker Farm, you can still use this uh, configuration guide because your configuration.h file, as long as you're using Marlin, is going to be very similar, if not completely identical. Uh, before we get started, though, I just want to talk a little bit about because uh, I've gotten some questions about what exactly you can modify and what that does when you do modify it by using the EEPROM. And in a real broad sense, anything that you can modify using the LCD interface, uh, you can save to EEPROM. Once you have saved it to EEPROM, every time you reboot the printer, those are the settings that are going to come up, the ones that you have saved in EEPROM. If you make some changes uh, and you want those to be part of the default, make sure you save those to the EEPROM. Otherwise, they will be lost next time you reboot the printer. Uh, also, even, a, uh, even if you reflash Marlin, completely reflash the uh, firmware, uh, the EEPROM is a separate part of memory and that doesn't get, uh, doesn't get overwritten when you do reflash the firmware. So again, briefly, uh, anything you can change with the LCD, you can save to EEPROM. Uh, to be a little more specific, anything that involves steps per millimeter can be saved to the EEPROM, and that includes you know, feed rates and things like that. Um, also, any maximum feed rates you can save to the EEPROM. Uh, acceleration you can save, and that includes retraction acceleration. Also, and this is a really handy one, if you ever run a, uh, if you ever change your PID settings, you can change those uh, by saving them to EEPROM, and that's very handy. Um, also, anything that involves, if you have a homing offset, you can, uh, you can save that. Uh, again, any feed rates, travel feed rates, uh, and then, of course, your uh, maximum X, Y, or Z jerk values. And I think that's pretty much what you can save via EEPROM. If I've forgotten anything, I apologize. I'm sure someone will let me know. Uh, okay, so enough of what you can do. How do we do it? Well, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, like I said, I have my configuration.h file open here. And I'm just going to scroll down until I get to a heading called Additional Features. And this is the one I'm mostly interested in. And you'll see that right under that, the uh, first item on the menu right here is the EEPROM. Uh, now I mentioned that you can do three things. You can store your parameters in EEPROM, you can restore them from EEPROM, or you can revert to the factory settings, which is what's in the configuration.h. You can do those from the LCD, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. We'll have those options available after we flash this. But for now, if you want to use Pronterface or some other method uh, to put these commands in, M500 is going to store the parameters. M501 is going to read the parameters, and if you really get in trouble, M502 is going to revert to whatever is in the configuration.h. Now, to enable all this, I'm simply going to uncomment this line right here, which is define EEPROM settings, which is commented out by default. And I'm also going to uncomment the define EEPROM chit chat, which I recommend doing unless you're really, really, for some reason, in a very tight memory situation, because this really does increase the uh, uh, reliability of the connection. Okay, so by uncommenting those two lines right there, I have now enabled EEPROM uh, settings 
on my version of Marlin. So I'm just going to save this and then use my Arduino IDE to flash these to the printer and then we'll be finished. Okay, we're back at our printer and let's see uh, if the changes that we just flashed have made the changes that we are hoping they would. So I'm going to once again go into my menu system, scroll down to control. In the control menu, I see we have two more options than what we had previously. We have this option, store memory, and this option, load memory. Now, once again, the store memory is going to store the current configuration into the uh, EEPROM that's on the ramps board, and that's going to survive a reboot or even a reflash. So every time you turn your printer on, those are the settings it's going to come up with. Load memory is one where if you have been changing uh, some of those settings and maybe you got yourself out in the weeds, this is going to reload what is actually in the EEPROM. This is not going to recover you back to what is in the configuration.h. That again is going to load the settings from the EEPROM. If you have made changes that you wanted, and did not store them, be very careful about loading because that is going to overwrite anything that you have currently in the memory of your printer in the RAM is going to be overwritten with what is from the EEPROM. Now the restore failsafe option, of course, what that's going to do is reload the uh, settings that are actually directly from your configuration.h file. So again, a couple important things to remember that the EEPROM is going to become uh, your, your standard default settings when you reboot the printer. Load memory is going to load the settings from the EEPROM into the working memory of your printer and restore failsafe is going to restore the configuration from the configuration.h. So I hope that clears things up. I hope that shows you uh, how, a little bit about how to use one of what I think is the most interesting and useful features available on the, uh, on the Marlin firmware. And so once again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.